Hi, this is a quick demonstration of Spectrum Spatial Connect. I'm going to be demonstrating how easy it is to be able to create custom business applications that leverage the Spectrum Spatial Service capability. In this example, it's an insurance one. Imagine that a field assessor or agent needs to go out into the field. They may or may not have mobile coverage. And they need to be able to access data using their mobile device, whether it's a phone or a tablet and um, be able to fill in details and that will sync back with the server. So in this particular example, if my mobile phone's on the right hand side, we can see over here, uh, there might have been a, an inspection, a checklist was um, filled out, there might have been some photos taken and so on. That, that's also accessible through the web browser. Um, over here we, we might see um, you know similar type of thing over here, that was a different inspection that happened and so on. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to be able to create an application like this and we'll start from scratch. So I'm going to click the plus symbol here in my Spectrum Spatial Connect server and I'm just going to go back on to the screen on my mobile phone. I could start with a template which gets you to the end point if we had an inspection one over here which we do uh, but for the purpose of this we'll just start with a uh, blank application. So for the purpose of the demo, what we're going to do is we're going to click over here on the left hand side and we're going to create a new application and we could start from a template um, and there's a ton of different templates out there but for the purpose of the demo we'll just start from a blank application. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to give the application a name so we'll just call it insurance demo. Um, and you'll notice on the right hand side of my mobile phone things update, update instantly. So the phone can be online, offline, um, it'll all work. Um, for the purpose of, of this one, again, we'll keep it really simple. We're just going to add an advanced map. We won't worry about the default location because that's going to be driven by the content coming from the layers. But the first thing we'll do is let's set up some credentials. Um, I'm just going to copy and paste some of um, these, these links and things that I've got set up. So we'll put in a custom tile URL. Uh, this is coming from the, the Spectrum server, but it could come from your custom sources as well. Uh, we'll put in the address of the Spectrum server. Obviously, that will be your custom server. And let's put in the username, and we'll put in the, um, the password. Just give me a sec here. I'm going to recopy that um, and paste that in. Cool. So what we'll see is if we refresh this page, uh, we'll now get the custom spectrum uh, tile background. So it'll actually come in. We don't have any data yet. We'll also be able to add a layer and now we'll be able to choose spectrum spatial as a data source. So the first thing we're going to choose over here is we've got um, some, for the purpose of the demo, we've got a property layer. And this is going to bring, bring in a couple of property boundaries that we can assess for the properties that we're meant to be assessing for the insurance purposes. Um, we'll see that an application has been created automatically and we can see for this particular example we've only got a couple of, there's a boundary up over here and there's one down over here as well that for, for that particular property. Um, and that's brought in polygons, um, we can zoom into those, uh, we could click on them, we could see the details for that, for that property and so on. These are coming from the feature tables within Spectrum Spatial. The next thing we'll do is let's add another layer, which are the, um, which are the building um, layers. So we'll just search the Spectrum server for a building layer. Um, and we should have one. So we'll choose that one over there. And again, this, these are completely customizable. And again, all I needed to do is click the uh, import and create. And that will create the application and then it will add the buildings. Now it'll default to you doing things like only selecting a, a small subset of buildings like 10 at a time. But we can come in and we can change things like the layers over here. We could change, um, for example, the building view. 
Um, we could edit that layer and we could say, you know what, go and get um, 100 buildings at, at a time. So let's do that over here and we'll uh, update that. If we, um, if we just refresh that page, it will refresh automatically. Again, for the purpose of demo, I'll just force a refresh. Um, we'll see that. And now we should see a lot more buildings um, if we zoom in over there. So let's have a look. Um, so now we see now we see all the little buildings over here. So if we zoomed in further, we'll be able to see the details on that. And that's what, all the buildings that are defined for that particular property. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Let's add an inspections app. So I'm going to click on add content again, and I'm going to just choose a blank application. Now, again, you might have as a predefined item on the palette, but for the purpose of the demo, we wanted to show how easy it was to create this from scratch. So we're just going to give this one over here a call. You can call it inspections. Um, and we want to add some fields to this. So this is a drag and drop. I'll put one for the name. We'll capture some details. Um, let's put uh, an offline map field, which is the location. Um, and we might add some images, the ability to capture images, and then we'll put in a rating um, as well as a checklist. So let's just name these. By the way, there's a preview over here, but this is probably for the purposes of um, speed. I'm just going to use this, this advanced view. So I'm going to give this, this is going to be info, um, this is going to be location, um, this will be pics, um, this will be um, rating. Um, and this will be checklist. Now for the checklist item, let's just click on this and we'll define some custom properties. So we'll say we've done a, uh, we wanna know whether we've done a title search, um, whether we've done a um, fire risk, oh, uh, risk assessment, um, um, flood risk, and so on. So you, you get the idea that you can customize these fields to meet uh, meet your requirements. Oh, well, actually, one more thing I wanted to do over here. So let's have a look. Um, when you submit a form, I'd like it to pop up as a modal form. You can do it as an inline form um, and, and so on. So that should be pretty cool. So now we can add a new item to the, and again, it's defaulted to the current location of where my browser is. Um, and if we look at this on the on the mobile device, uh, we'll see that that, um, that should uh, render the application as well. This is the first time we've been in and there's that inspection. Um, so one thing we haven't done is we haven't connected this inspections application to this map and that's pretty easy. So we're going to add another layer for that inspection and we, instead of choosing Spectrum Spatial, we're going to choose the custom app. So you can build these apps for any type of use case you can think of and I'm going to just type in the name of uh, where I'd like to get this from. So it's going to be insurance demo um, Again, we'll just choose, scroll down over here. So we'll choose the inspections one and we'll add that layer. Now at the moment, we don't have any, um, we don't have any um, data on there. Um, but what we can do is let's imagine we're out in the field and we've, we're going to go and do an inspection on this particular property. Um, I'm going to click into that detail map and I'm going to zoom in. Obviously, if you were on that property, um, you, you, might, you might see that. Now, I'm going to click the little pencil down the bottom right, which gives me a little sub-menu, um, and I can click the plus, and now I can add an inspection. So let's add an inspection point. Uh, we'll add one over there. Um, that's the property details. Um, we'll click Save. Um, we'll call this Inspection 1. Um, inspection 1. Uh, we'll, we can add photos over there. So let's just add, um, add a photo over here so we can, uh, we can access. So let's, let's have a look at this. Uh, we'll add a photo over here. Um, it's not quite the picture, but you'll, you'll get, get the idea. Uh, we can give it a rating. Uh, we could fill in items on that custom checklist that we, that we made. Um, and when ready, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Submit. Now, this will actually work if you're offline, but given that we're online, we should see that update. When that, when that sent the image and all the bits and pieces to the server, uh, we'll see that actually update. So we can see that pin on the map over there, um, and uh, that, should be, that should be updating the application. If I actually click out of this, um, we can see over there, and there it is. So there it's now, it's hit the server. That could update the feature table. There's our um, inspection that we've done. It's got the rating, the checklist, and that's it. So pretty cool. We can see it appear on the map over here. 
Um, obviously the styling is slightly different to on the right hand side and you can customize that. Um, but that's it. Um, very, very simple, quick and easy to be able to create an online inspection application. In this example, uh, was for insurance. This could obviously apply to any type of industry. Thanks for watching and look forward to hearing what you do with Spectrum Spatial Connect.